So what I'm going to do right now is introduce a junior from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania on women's lacrosse, Karen Hay. Please welcome Karen. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to the Endowed Scholarship Luncheon. My name is Karen Haid and I'm currently a junior, a captain of the Old Dominion Women's Lacrosse team here. Let me get, begin today by saying how honored I am to be asked to speak to such a crowd. It's not every day that you get to thank all the people that make it possible for student athletes like myself to attend this university. A little bit about me, I come from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, and I'm currently a biology major. So when I'm not at practice, which is a lot, <laughs> I'm at the Perry Library. As a biology major with plans of going to medical school after ODU, I invest a lot of time into my studies. When I was in high school and I would talk to my teachers or coaches about my plans for college, they always seemed kind of surprised that I wanted to study medicine and play Division I lacrosse. Some would give me comments like, you might have to choose between the two, or that's going to be pretty time consuming, how do you plan on getting through that? To me, the solution was clear, just work hard. I didn't want to come to a school or choose a major where I would simply cruise to the curriculum. I wanted to be challenged. Now, I'm never the smartest in the classroom or the fastest on the field, but I'm consistently putting in work to get there. My work ethic is one of my greatest attributes. My first two years here, I've learned that through hard work, you can truly accomplish whatever you want. When I came into ODU as a freshman, my first time mile was around eight minutes and 15 seconds. I was dead last and everyone was laughing at me. I got pretty sick of seeing the back of everyone's head, so in every mile I ran since, I just told myself to work a little bit harder. And now as a junior, I can run a mile about six minutes and 40 seconds. Academically, I wasn't doing too great either. My freshman year fall GPA was a 3.38. And while that's not that bad, a 3.38, which is roughly, roughly a B plus, A minus, to me is not acceptable from someone that wants to go to med school. I saw it like this. What if your obstetrician only knew how to complete 88% of the delivery? To some, the other 12% might be kind of important. I mean, that's like mistaking a head for a shoulder. I strive for perfection with my academics. It took me a semester of getting a 3.91, then a 3.98 before I earned my first 4.0. Now, everything I've achieved so far here at ODU would not have even been remotely possible without the support from the people in this room. Ranging from the donors who helped me pay for school, my coaches for seeing potential within me, the staff at the Jacobson Academic Center, and most importantly, my parents who have made me who I am today. The majority of us student athletes will not go on to play in a professional league. When we leave ODU, we will be your coworkers, business owners, lawyers, and doctors. And we will have gotten to where we are in part because of your generosity. As we all know, whether from personal experience or statistics, investing in such education is truly a lifelong gift. So on behalf of myself and all the other student athletes here at Old Dominion, thank you.